Well, the weather is warming up a little bit, but because of the coronavirus, Ohioans aren't planning their usual spring activities, Rob, at least for now. Well, and that is bad news in parts of our state that depend on seasonal tourism dollars. In this News 5 original, Kevin Barry explains how one of those communities is just trying to hold on now. The empty streets in Geneva on the lake in early April aren't all that uncommon. Winter and early spring here are normally pretty quiet. What's different is that no one knows for sure when the tourists will come back. Everybody comes to our area to go to the wineries and the restaurants. That's really the big attraction, especially this time of year. The problem for Andrea Bushweiler and the Lake House Inn is coronavirus precautions have closed the restaurants and wineries that keep the inn going during the off season. It's been difficult at one level because obviously sales are down significantly, probably 50 percent or more. Daniela Winchell at the Ohio wine. wine Producers Association says loyal customers are ordering wine by the case and picking it up on the curb. The wineries have seen an incredible cadre of support from their loyal customers. Still, business is far behind what it would normally be. 10 to 15,000 customers a week are expected to visit wineries this time of year. So after Governor DeWine closed restaurants in Ohio, the Lake House Inn closed too. So we knew if people couldn't go to the wineries and go and do tastings, there wasn't going to be a lot of reason to come to the area. And the Lake House Inn isn't alone. Experts tell News 5 hotels across the nation are 70% empty, with only more grim occupancy rates expected in the coming weeks and months. I mean, we're still doing things. I mean, a lot of it is on the phone with the bank, working through what all the different loan programs are and what we can do to try to you know, keep business going. Well, the in waits for customers and bookings to return, they're using the time to get some work done inside the rooms and repaint a few of them, getting ready to compete with what could be limited disposable income after the virus passes. It's just, are people going to have money to travel? It's at least part of the reason why Andrea has to cancel reservations. The Lake House Inn is trying to find a way to get people to come back soon. What we've been offering to most people is, can we give you a gift certificate to use at a future date? And a lot of people are taking advantage of that, which is helping. Another bright spot, says Daniela, is the fact that fun is relatively cheap in Ashtabula County. Even if visitors take a financial hit during the stay-at-home order, once they're allowed to travel again. So there are lots of things we can do um, to create an affordable experience for our families, for travelers, for wine, wine lovers. Andrea says the best hope is to try to open by Memorial Day. That's May 25th, just to salvage the vacation season. If we start getting into June and we're not open, it's going to have a huge impact on our business. In Geneva on the Lake, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.